Jen Bruin here at the Iwo Jima Memorial attending the annual Honors Flight trip to Washington, D.C. We have had the privilege to hear veteran stories from all different branches of the military. I mean, coming into the airport, it was very touching. It's, it's hard to describe because I, I never felt that way uh, before, even when I came back from Vietnam. It was like I went out to get a gallon of milk and came yeah. back home, you know. This has been awesome to experience that, uh, that feeling. Outstanding trip. Uh, it was very moving when we deplaned and everyone's clapping. Most of the veterans on this trip are Vietnam veterans. A majority of them expressed feelings of being unappreciated for their service when they returned. The Honors Flight experience is about repairing past damage. We're very thankful that we're being respected now. Some of us didn't feel that way 50 years ago. To end day one, we visited the Navy Museum in the Air Force Memorial. The Navy Museum was highlighted by the Lone Sailor statue and the plaques of the Lone Sailor Award winners. The Air Force Memorial was the last stop of the day, highlighted by the Sky High Spires. To start off day two, we visited Iwo Jima Memorial, which is a tribute to the Marine Corps for a battle in Iwo Jima, Japan, where troops took over the island and raised the flag to celebrate. It was one of the bloodiest battles in Marine Corps history. Uh, I, Iwo Jima was before, before me, but the statue, yep. this means a lot. The, the, the hymn means everything because it's something you live by. First to fight for right and freedom and to keep our honor pure. It gives you energy. It gives you a lot of energy, a good good belief in what you did and you did it right and you're proud to represent the ones that didn't make it back and the ones that were thinking about going, you want to try to do your best to show them everything is not always right in this world, but it can be better. And we all we got to do is stay together. We were able to witness the changing of guard ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and three wreath ceremonies for Afghanistan veterans. I'm here at the Women in Service Memorial in Washington, D.C. Lily Marlene Flynn, one of the only female veterans on this trip, is a Navy veteran from 1983 to 1995. Oh, it's an honor. It's very much an honor. I, uh, yes, I'm very proud to be here to go on the honor flight. I retired from the United States Navy in 1995. I went in in 1983. And I was injured, so I spent 13 years in the Navy. Lee Ellington was a shopkeeper in the Navy, and then she became a reservist and finally retired in 2005. Her husband, Larry Ellington, was in the Air Force, and she describes how much this trip means to both of them. It means a lot. Um, my husband's a Vietnam veteran, and he has got Parkinson's related to Agent Orange. This means a lot to him, too, and just coming to see the women's memorial was great. I saw a lot of things that when I went in in 67, women were not allowed to do, and nowadays they can do it. The Navy Shipyard is a historical museum that serves as a compilation of nostalgic treasures for Navy veterans. The World War II memorial showed such a tragic war in such a commemorative way. They even had a spot for Kilroy, a memento from the war. Bill Bozo was a memorable tour guide throughout the trip. His jokes and extensive knowledge on history made for an amazing tour for the veterans. I've won the lottery. Born in the greatest country in the world, and uh, the Army helped educate me, so now it's time to pay back. The most emotional part of our trip was the Vietnam and Korean memorials. With only one Korean vet and over 40 Vietnam vets, there was a lot of emotion in the air. With vets seeing and tracing their friends' names on the wall came tears and anger at what had happened to them. For our final day, we went to the Marine Corps Museum and the Army Museum. At the Marine Corps Museum, there was a timeline of exhibits that showed Marine involvement in war. At the Army Museum, we got a look into the Army's roots in the nation and what it was like being drafted for Vietnam. Uh, I actually, from Massachusetts if, to if, when I got drafted, I was pretty bummed. 
but when I got Over home, 6, uh, men were killed it was like, man, that was, Thousands more that was quite an experience. Disease, actually, I think everybody should go through this. It's a, it's a humbling experience. British forces, a good under the command of General and when Manus, I came back, I told you. To close out this memorable trip, the McHenry community gathered at MCHS to welcome home these veterans. We have been honored to travel with all of these amazing vets and the Veterans Network Committee. We will forever be grateful for this opportunity. We hope to inspire others to carry on the veterans' legacy. Reporting for the Warrior Weekly, we're Cooper Tembruin, Rayan Ahmed, and Nikki Sisson.